Man, nothing really compares to your home track. That feeling you get when you walk through the gate, <laughs> there's nothing like it. More than a racetrack, it's about the people, the stories, the tradition. I've got one of these trophies already, but Dad has two of them. He likes to let me know about it. I guess now is a pretty good time to let you guys know. With the help of my friends at High Rock Vodka, I'm going to come on back and get my second. As you guys have just seen, I am very happy and proud to announce High Rock Vodka as a full season partner here at Huffman Racing on our late model stock cars uh, for the 2023 season. We're going to be chasing the track championship at Hickory Motor Speedway. Again, trying to go back to back along with select races at multiple venues here across the southeast. Uh, one of those will be Wake County Speedway. Plan on making a few cars tour starts as well. And then we'll eventually be back at North Wilkesboro Speedway in May too. So this video is all over the place, guys. I couldn't post videos because we have actually been wrapping one of the race cars here in the shop. So that's why you have a week absence of videos. But we've been rocking and rolling and building race cars. We actually have Francis completely done now and ready for setup. So that's exciting. But anyways, this video is a whole hodgepodge of a bunch of different days of work. It's not really gonna have a rhyme or reason as far as a start to finish, but it's just a combination of work days here over the last little bit here at Huffman Racing. And I hope you enjoy it. Hope you enjoy the announcement. Again, thank you guys for all the support and enjoy the video. Hello, Seth. Hello, Landon. Happy Friday. Yes, happy sunny Friday. Happy sunny day. Glad to not, yeah, glad to be here. How we doing, glad Rich? To be here, Rich. I am, I've had two sun drops, so I am jacked up. Woo. I just dropped mine on the floor, it's runt. Your runt. sun drop? Runt. Runt. All right, we're gonna continue working on Gilbert. We're wrapping Francis and getting it finished up. Maybe even put a motor in it today. And uh, finished up front suspension. Rich is doing wiring. Brake lines are all done. I don't know if we showed you guys that last time, but Rich is working on the wiring because he's way more qualified to do that than we are. He's smart, yeah. not. I'm not smart. Got the fuel cell in her. It's all done up after I put it in backwards the first time, but I got it fixed. <laughs> I was here for that conversation. Yeah. It was entertaining. Rob had a lot of choice words. So it's going to be a good day. So the other problem, factor in time versus value. Oh my gosh. So this morning, me and Rich went to PRW. I got some stuff I needed for our left front. I had to get this... Uh, rotor adapter so that we get the rotors on it because the hub is not uh it's not built where the rotor adapt or uh, bolts straight to the hub motor mounts for francis i actually have two more that are over there got to paint those then we got some bolts and a rear hub seal because we robbed one for francis but the rear end's under it now so hopefully uh once we get bearings and stuff packed there on those hubs, then it's ready to go. We can't have Taiwanese race car parts. What are we doing here, Seth? Bitching about the Taiwanese. Well, <laughs> cleaning the bell housing up so we can paint it and then sand it back <laughs> off and paint it again. So we had this bell housing that was not cut and my cousin cut it with the plasma cutter. It probably needs to be grinded on. Yeah, I started to say, yeah. your cousin not on the grinder. Well, I don't know if we have one up here, but he cut it with a plasma cutter this morning, so we got to get it cleaned up and painted today as well. And then this is my fancy clutch button that Rich done some machining on for me. Very nice. That other one's got mud all over it. Well, trying to find a needle in a haystack. Sure. 
we got water and oil. Yeah, so what we're going to use water tamp and oil pressure. Yeah. So right here, all this needs to come out. Right, I'm trying to. Bell housing's done up, looks nice. And over here, I went ahead and got that uh, motor mount bracket and then this uh, perch painted up. So now that I've got that done, <clears throat> I've assembled that rotor and stuff that I needed to do. Rich is still working on the wiring. I've got to run up to Hickory Motor Speedway to do this little video thing for the racetrack. So I'll be back momentarily. All right, just finished up at the racetrack recording. I have my baby right here. Had to do a few shots with it. So now we're headed back to the race shop, see if these boys got anything done. What do we have here, Rich? Batteries. Shout out to Volt Battery, the Meredith family for uh, hooking us up this year. We're gonna be run, running Volt Energy in all of our race cars, so check them out. They are uh, tied in with Boo Carlisle, our buddy. He's got a YouTube channel as well, so. Kicking about to put, asphalt. Yeah, kicking asphalt vlogs. We're about to put some Volt batteries in this baby. Actually, both cars. She's a little slow to, to action there. We, we could go somehow or another. Um, go forward with it here, Ron. All right, RJ. We got some goodies. We got a lot of new hats. Bunch yeah, of them. Man. Yeah. When you flip them down, or you just have to make These are like the ones we had at Wilkesboro, right 75 on the side. You know what I'm talking about? Hint, yeah. hint. <laughs> I guess at this point, I'm assuming the announcement will be out. But if not, here it is. Y'all can interpret whatever you want. Uh, they gave me one of these. The driver hat. Yep. Racing team hat. And then our shirts are the same as Wilkesboro. But. But they got a little retro flare to them. I brought back dad's old racing team font and we put it on these shirts. So Power Up Vodka Racing Team has a 75 on it and uh, signature there. So taking care of us before we make our trip to uh, Daytona. All right, Flynn, we have found a bag of Cheetos freshly sealed circa 1995. Beautiful branding though. Open them bad boys up. Cheetos are good. We're gonna give them a shot. Do you think they're gonna be the right? Look, they look brand new. Look a little stale. Get you. Oh yeah. <laughs> How stale are they? They don't taste bad, does it? <laughs> no, no, it tastes horrible. <laughs> <laughs> What's it taste like? Yeah. Air. <laughs> try one. Oh god. Just try one. No, I did. It smells like a crayon. I ain't eating it. Yeah. It sounds like a crayon. I Dude, ain't that you can't stupid. even eat it. It don't even chew up. <laughs> it's like Let, it soak in your, Let it soak in your mouth. No. Bit. It's like eating styrofoam. Let me see them. It's what they tasted like when they were new. <laughs> yeah. Cheetos have evolved. Fine job, sir. We're getting there. About 90% there. All right, here she sits, Francis. First time you guys have officially seen it. You might have actually seen video up until this point uh, throughout the last couple of days, but completely finished. Uh, we also have another sponsorship announcement coming up. That's Bumgarner Propane, which was Covered Express from last year, if you guys remember. But uh, Bumgarner Oil is the parent company, and Bumgarner Propane and Covered Express are both on board this year as an associate on the late model stock and then on the limited as well. But let's walk around this baby here. If you remember right, this hood was actually the High Rock hood. It needs to be wrapped. It's probably not going to look like this. We're going to go ahead and wrap it and then put a new High Rock logo on it. But you can see it was all beat up and we had to patch it. But uh, Dylan over at One Wraps took really good care of us, wrapped this baby up. And it looks great. So really excited. Uh, I'm actually going to talk a little bit in this video why this car is completely done and wrapped up ahead of Gilbert. So we've talked about this in the podcast, Huffman Racing Radio. But we're actually taking this car, Francis, to Daytona uh, next weekend for the 500. So we will have this car down there as a show car for High Rock. We'll be at a total wine and liquor in Daytona Beach. 
and we're doing a little uh, appearance there. We'll have an autograph session. High Rock will have a stand up and we'll be giving away some stuff there. And then we'll have it uh, at the hotel that we're staying at as well. So excited to go down to Daytona, celebrate High Rock's one year anniversary and get, get take a race car down there if the van will make it uh, as a show car. So really excited for that. And uh, that's why we have Francis ready to rock and roll. But as you can see, power plant is in old girl. Everything's hooked up. Got to get a carburetor on it and then she'll be ready to fire as well. So we've knocked a ton out on this thing. And then over here on Gilbert, brake lines are ran. Rich got our wiring done. So within the next day or two, you guys will be getting the videos of it, obviously. But within the next day or two, we'll be hanging the body and getting this thing ready to rock and roll. I should have my rear end back from Buzzy this week as well. Seth, what happened? My dog ate my carpet. Why? I don't know. Have you been feeding him carpet lately? This is no. unfortunate. Welcome to my world. My dog eats everything. Rich's dog, dog eats everything, yeah. He eats packages, cell phones. I think I'm going to do the Huffman repair fix on it. What's that? Put a piece cut of carpet? Cut a square out of the closet and put back in it. <laughs> what about your closet? Fuck it, nobody sees it. Blake, did you come bearing gifts? I have come bearing two quarter windows and something, a flex plate that I did not have in stock the other day. How's the pizza, Rich? Good. Is it everything you wanted? Better than nothing. So it didn't live up to expectations? Actually, it's pretty good. But but it should have been. It's $25 for two mediums. Pockets and bruises. You got them beat. Well, yeah, but pockets and bruises closed, so it don't count. That's true. But it is. Thank you for the beat. If anybody wants to put a little Caesars in in Claremont, we'd be more than happy. <laughs> so interior of Francis, we've got the old shifter ball made. Blake had an idea to make it with a golf ball, and I tapped it. And uh, it's on there, and it ain't coming off. So we got a tailor-made zero for a shifter ball. Thanks, Mint. And then I got my uh, rear view put in here properly because RJ just slapped it in, didn't tighten her down. I don't think he got around to that yet, so I got that nailed down. And then they're piddling with something, and I'm waiting to put the body on it. Whatever Robert's done, doing whatever the hell he's doing. What are you doing, combining those two fuel lines? Making chicken salad out of chicken shit. Cut them in half. Cut them three times and them back together and cut them three more. Sounds like a lot of work. <clears throat> Make it done, it looks like it was made for it. Okay, I'll figure something out. This piece. Oh. Uh, no, it's one piece. One one square piece. One of them is two pieces. Maybe I'm better. Maybe not. I painted something. This one's two pieces. Too. Yeah, I painted uh, I painted the other one the other day. It's <clears throat> just one big ass square piece because then you made the steps for the. Because you probably need to put this piece in there next. That way you can get to it. Gut man. Yeah. The first time you've been introduced to the vlog. We drug you out of retirement. Yeah, what was I thinking? <laughs> For those of you that didn't know, this is Kenny. We call him Gut Man. He used to help Dad back in the day on the dash cars. He's been watching the videos, and somehow I got his ass to come back out here and work. So we'll see how long that lasts. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how long it takes you to run me off. Yeah. He's been very useful, though. At least you uh, you probably know the rule about when we're pushing the car, you actually have to contribute and push. Don't yeah. lean on it. Yeah, you, you actually have to actually do something to make it move. Yeah, see? That's a step ahead of, like, 90% of the people we have on our team already, so... Getting good. We just got this greenhouse set down, and I got yelled at for using uh, one fine thread and one coarse thread bolt. So, got that figured out. Rich, thank you for your help. It was very productive. Getting there. Starting to look like two race cars. Yes, it is. All right, that's going to do it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed the announcement. 
Uh, let me know what you thought about it in the comments. It's going to be a great season. I'm looking forward to it. Excited to get things rolling here at Huffman Racing. But thank you guys again. Looking forward to creating content for you guys throughout the entirety of 2023. It's going to be a lot of fun. But take you guys along for the ride. So thanks again. If you haven't already, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. We're on our way to 15K. So that's pretty exciting. But I really appreciate you guys. And uh, have a good morning, evening, night whenever you're watching this. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.